And welcome back yesterday. It was the third regular board meeting, and I emphasize regular mainly because there's been a lot of meetings yesterday. It ran about three hours and 27 minutes. Today we have on President Mike Strazuso of that board. Nice to see you. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's always nice to see you. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, it was a very contentious meeting for the people, certain parts of it were for people who um, watched yesterday. And of course, we'll be replaying that on Thursday at 1.30 p.m. and the next week at uh, 6 p.m. on Wednesday. Election time, we're right in the middle of that. And in fact, the folks only have, what about, well, to September 30th. I'm trying to backtrack the days, 13 days, 12 days or so, to get their ballots in. And as we've been saying that, you can certainly mail in your ballots. But if you get down to those last few days, I wouldn't mail them in. Come in to uh, community center here. Those drop boxes are downstairs. Absolutely. <clears throat> and we have uh, six candidates for four <clears throat> seats. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, <clears throat> unfortunately, uh, the four are eligible to run for a net another term mm -hmm. and have chosen not to so we will be filling uh, four seats but this campaign has uh, been contentious mm -hmm. and it's a small group who are not running that are making it contentious with uh, false claims and misinformation and at our meeting last month, we had two presentations, one on cyberbullying and one on uh, civility. Uh, Jean Hart did a beautiful job, and uh, Marsha Wilson uh -huh. did a fantastic job. In fact, Marsha was invited to repeat her presentation at the GRF meeting. Right. But the cyberbullying doesn't seem to have made an impression on certain people. Mm -hmm. uh, that was the most contentious part of our meeting yesterday. He, <clears throat> uh, a gentleman in, you know, I won't even call him a gentleman, in our community uh, created a email where he gave his bones of contention that he has been voicing for the last three years and <clears throat> cut and paste pictures of two of the candidates into the email. And it made it appear that the two <clears throat> candidates were avowing his position. Uh -huh. uh, Third mutual board members took exception to it and put it on the agenda requesting a apology. And that set off a firestorm. Uh, the audience was loaded for bear and one after another came up and con <coughs> condemned the board. They're condemning the wrong person. Uh, we don't have uh, burning at the stake anymore, but if we did, uh, I think <laughs> it's time to uh, do something about this gentleman. Uh, uh -huh. A year ago, he was doing the same thing, and Third Mutual Board scheduled a TV uh, broadcast, open meeting, invited him to bring his evidence, didn't show. So this person uh, is a resident here then, that you know, I know you don't want to say more than that. But. Well, yes, he's a resident, okay. he's a golfer, he is <clears throat> a, a <clears throat> large statured gentleman, and uh, he's doing a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, People who are being bullied are distressed. Um, it, why doesn't he get it? Why doesn't he stop? You're right. Just amazing. And the, I think that one of the unfortunate things was that um, this was a meeting, the last, 
the last regular meeting, I should say, for four of your members yes. who have been on the board. Uh, Ray, three years, of course, but Sai, Isabel, and Denny on and off for up to a dozen years on some yes. of them. And it was kind of sad to see that their last meeting, uh, certainly for Sai, Isabel, and Denny, Ray may, who knows, maybe come back or do something. Uh, she's only been on three years. But that the, together, the, their last meeting, it had to go this way. <clears throat> it wasn't a pleasurable meeting. No, it wasn't. <clears throat> and uh, uh, as somebody said, he must have been sitting at home watching with a big grin on his face. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, a grin on your face? For what? For disturbing people over and over anyway. Anyway. Um, uh, the four that are going off the board, Sai, and uh, Sai has uh, said to me repeatedly, Mike, I've got your back. And Sai, when things get in violation of Robert's rules, will step in. Uh, we have uh, 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 a tendency, all of us, to <coughs> veer away from the topic and bring people back to the topic, mm -hmm. uh, if, especially if there is a, a motion on the floor. Uh, we should address the motion and not uh, what they did last summer, but... Uh, right. <laughs> okay. Uh, Isabel... What a fountain of information. She has the most incredible memory. And uh, she will say, in 2007, we put this on, and, and uh, she's been such a valuable resource. A and I must say, each of them are independent thinkers. Mm -hmm. We have on the board uh, a variety of background, a variety of experience. And they bring that to the board, and I have to uh, say that they are independent thinkers. Denny is a dynamo. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, is. she has her uh, disability, her physical disabilities, and uh, she does all of what she does, getting around in a golf cart. Yeah, in a pink golf yeah. cart. She is. Just unbelievable lady. Uh, Ray is so meticulous. Ray is a bean counter to the 10th degree. And uh, Ray will be missed greatly. Ray gets to the truth. Ray gets down in the trenches when it comes to uh, numbers. Mm -hmm. and yes, she does. Uh, the next item that I put on our agenda has to do with the uh, flood mitigation. Yeah. Flood from 2010, and we're still laboring over the remediation. Right, exactly. And you, uh, yesterday you had on um, Tim, I forget his last name, uh, but show uh, some maps and things. Yes, Huval. Oh, Huval, okay. Thank you. I, I forgot his last name. But he, br he brought up some uh, areas of the community particularly over uh, the golf car course area and um, showing where some ongoing progress needs to be done. There's a culvert that has to be widened, there's some walls. And one of the, one of the things that uh, w was asked of him is that certain areas, one side is united, one side is third, and uh, it was asked of him, you know, can you come up with some, some numbers as far as how these different areas, GRF, United, and Third, because each one of those areas are affected by this, how that's going to proceed and, you know, the costs and all that. Well, the <clears throat> greatest amount of damage was done in Third, mm -hmm. but the water flowed through GRF property. Right. And uh, allocating uh, the, the cost of reconstructing that area uh, to prevent the water. And, and by the way, one that you left out, we have to rebuild a bridge. Mm -hmm. That's right, yeah. <laughs> in addition to what you just mentioned. 
And the people who live in that area are saying, when are you going to get on with it? And the, the engineering reports, uh, the first one uh, was disputed, they redid it. <coughs> United uh, disputed that, that one, they got their own uh, engineering report and that was disputed. It's, it's been uh, craziness. Right. Uh, good Lord, uh, keep the water away f until we get done. <laughs> yeah, and as, as it was said yesterday, a lot of these areas at the time were, were built in such a way for what was called a 10-year flood. And you guys need to look at something far grander, meaning a, a, a 25 or even a 100-year flood. Hundred year, yeah. And when people speak of that, they mean, you know, as, we, as we've seen throughout the country, what's going on in Colorado right now, a type of flood that comes maybe every once 100 years, but in fact could actually come every few years and then not be around again for decades. But you have to, you have to build for uh, the worst case scenario. We're making <clears throat> progress. Uh, the other area that uh, the, our attorney and <clears throat> legal affairs uh, employee at PCM and myself went to El Toro Water District to mm -hmm. talk about <clears throat> tiered pricing. Right. This has been in the news lately. It has. And there is a, a court decision recently that uh, <clears throat> the water district south of us uh, was sued mm -hmm. and the judge said you're in violation of Prop 218 and uh, on top of that what you are practicing is social engineering. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> a way of punishing people who use more water. Uh, I, I shudder when people say we need to save water. Save where are you going to put it? Uh, no, you need to reduce the consumption uh, <clears throat> because if you go over what they budget us, then it doubles the price for right. that portion over. And that's a small window, and if you go over that combined, you go into triple pricing. <clears throat> and we take exception to it because we get one bill, we issue one check. If you take the total budgeted and the po total consumed, we're under budget. Mm -hmm. But by meter, any meter that goes over budget gets that double or triple pricing. We didn't get it anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> But we tried again. Well, we'll see what happens. And next week, um, I believe next Friday, a week from tomorrow, we a uh, week from uh, this coming Friday, I should say, we'll have uh, somebody on from the El Toro Water District. And uh, perhaps I'll bring that up and we'll see what they have to say. I know in some cases they may, uh, because there's ongoing, not directly with them, but with these other water districts, there's on ongoing litigation there, they, they may, ha you know, legally not have to say anything and, or not want to at this point, but I'll, I'll, I'll at least bring it up. By the way, in <clears throat> our, our meeting, the, the general manager, the chairman of the board, who is a resident, the chief financial officer, and their counsel <clears throat> attended the meeting. And their contention is very simple. If we do it for you, we'd be obliged to do it for all of our users. Right. And yes. uh, I understand. Mm -hmm. Do it for us anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and it may, who knows, it may come to that. Uh, one of the things you talked about yesterday, something you've been looking at ongoing uh, for quite a while, is the GRF bylaws uh, called the Hastings Report and looking at, um, it's the task force to analyze the GRF trust and bylaws. And that's something that's kind of been ongoing, sometimes put, uh, having to put aside because you have to work with, in some of these instances, the other mutuals as well. Oh yes, <clears throat> it, it involves all four corporations, mm -hmm. a GRF, 
United Third and Mutual 50. Right. And uh, with the turmoil in United, uh, they sort of uh, are putting their hand up and saying, we need to start over. We need our attorney to analyze uh, what's going on. And until we do, have fun. We haven't been able to make any progress. Right. And <clears throat> their election is this month as well. Hopefully, uh -oh. when they get settled down and everybody has a minimum of one year, up to three years, we uh, can uh, once again get back on the same page. Uh -huh. But uh, at the moment, uh, they're uh, sitting on their laurels and uh, uh, impeding the progress. Uh, God bless you, uh, United Directors. I don't envy you with what has gone on when you have five people resign all on right. <laughs> one day. One day. Uh, <clears throat> reorganize. Get with it. Let's get on with it. Uh, the GRF Trust and the, G <clears throat> I'm sorry, the, <laughs> the trust. Uh, and, and we are beneficiaries of the trust in, in mass. Right. Uh, we need to do it. We need to get on with it. Uh, thirds contention, uh, they've identified four changes that need to be done. Hastings report has identified them. And <clears throat> if you liquidated the assets of the trust, Let's see, what are those? Clubhouses, golf course, um, pools, uh, right. um, streets. Streets, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, If we liquidated, uh, there is an uneven distribution. Uh, and I, in the back of my mind, I think that uh, that uh, uh, United looks at that as a as leverage, uh -huh. uh, <laughs> we, we need to get back at the table and get on with it. Okay. Okay. All right. Very good. Well, once again, that meeting ran about uh, three hours and 27 minutes. So it wasn't my fault. <laughs> I'm not saying it was. I'm, ju I'm just giving the facts. And the fact is that that will be replayed Thursday at 1.30 the next week. As you can see, Wednesday on the 25th at 6 p.m. Mike? Thanks a lot for coming by today. You're welcome. And you have marvelous taste in jackets. Oh, well, you thank know you. That? Uh, it's vintage, <laughs> like 1990, I think. I don't know, something like that. All right. <laughs> well, good to see you again. Thank Folks, you. we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs>